right, so today I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Reliance ProTrans 2 uh, manual transfer switch. Uh, the generator is going to plug into that, and then that goes into the main breaker panel. And uh, when the power goes off, all we have to do is turn on the generator, plug it into here, and flip on whatever circuit we want to uh, power using the generator. All right, so at this time, I'm going to demonstrate that the power has run off. And I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes for me to get the power back on using the generator. So this is the main breaker panel for the house. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer on when I flip off the switch to simulate a power outage. So here we go. Alright, so power is off. Starting my timer. We'll go back into the house and make sure that things are off. Okay. So all the lights have gone off. Shut the doors there. And we can check that if we try to turn on the light, nothing happens, and you can hear the beeping. That's the UPS battery backup beeping to let you know that the power has gone out. And if we open our fridge, you can see that there's no light. So the power is off to the house at this point. So now I'm going to go and set up the generator and hopefully we can power it on. So I have the generator uh, cables and uh, other stuff, extension cords and whatnot in the shed. I'm going to go to the shed now and get that box and crank up the generator. So this is the storage bin that has the equipment, uh, the cables and whatnot that I need to uh, use the generator. Now I have to go get the propane tank. Okay, so I have three of these propane tanks. They're just regular barbecue propane tanks that I keep filled up all the time. And they've got a nice cover on them. And uh, if they're not leaking, they should last indefinitely. So we'll go ahead and, yes, it's easier for me to just take off the cover. Brand new filled tank. So I think the full tank weighs 30 something pounds. And now I'm gonna open up my accessories box and I need to get the connector for the propane tank to plug into the uh, generator. And the last time that I used the generator, I just kept it here on the porch. It's a little noisy, but not too bad. All right. So now I'm going to plug my propane tank. We don't want to go through the same thing that we went through during this winter. So this time we'll be more prepared. All right. So here is the propane connector. Plug this into the tank. And then plug the other end into the into the uh, generator. Okay, so it's connected. Now, I just need to power the generator on. It's got a battery start, so it's pretty convenient. Oh, I also need to turn on the gas, open up the gas. We'll open it up all the so, way. Turn off economy mode, engage the choke. And starts up like a champ. All right, so now I need to go. My first time doing it. I haven't done it before. The cable is still in street wrap. I'm going to run this end to the transfer switch.
It's got a twist lock. Lock into place. Okay, so it's secured. Plug this in into the generator. Back at the transfer switch. This is my first time using the transfer switch, so wish me luck. I need to unlock it. All right, so now we look for the uh, circuit that we want to turn on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fridge and the microwave. So fridge is circuit uh, switch A, microwave is switch C. So I'm gonna put A to generator, C to generator. All right, so now we'll go back in to see if the fridge is back on, and then we'll turn, we'll see if the microwave is also back on. All right, so we're back in now. You can see that the fridge is back on. Voila, it's got a light. And the microwave is also back on. Let's just make sure that it's working. We can go ahead and turn it on. And it's working fine. The toaster is also on the same circuit as the microwave, and that's also on. And the time that it took for us was under 10 minutes. 